Hello, my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel or you are a returning viewer, welcome. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, as well as that little bell icon so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Today, I have a design team project for ASC Craft Supplies and my scrap chick. I've created this beautiful oval gift box using a digital file called Egg Shape Box with 3D Flower. This file is available at My Scrap Chick. Now, this file was originally intended to be an Easter gift box. However, I wanted to show you some alternative ways to use it. The paper collection that I used is by Stamperia. It's called Hortensia. This is available at ASC Craft Supplies. They have two retail locations. You can visit them online in their Etsy store or on the web. Please feel free to use my coupon code ROBIN10, that's all capital letters, to receive a 10% discount upon checkout. I love the way this box turned out. I think it makes a beautiful gift for Mother's Day or any special occasion throughout the year. I did alter the size of this box and I increased it to be a width of four and seven eighths by six and a half inches tall. As you can see, I have done a lot of fussy cutting on this project. On the top, we have these beautiful hydrangeas. I've cut out these birds. I've embellished them with glossy accents so that they would stand out. This one looks like it's flying. On the top here, I've added in this purple rhinestone and I've also included it on the bottom. Back here, we have a little clock flanked with hydrangeas. And in the back, I did use a white lace doily. I've embellished that with these pink faceted gems. The main focal point, of course, is this beautiful silhouette of a woman. On the right side, I have created this small floral spray. This was originally a white rose that I altered with lilac ink, and then I've added in these purple and plum berries. I finished it off with this deep purple seam binding. We have a little butterfly here and here, and I've also included glossy accents. I really like the way that stands out. On the bottom, I fussy cut this bird cage, and I think that looks so pretty with the bird flying in. On the bottom, we have this sentiment that I fussy cut from the paper collection. It says, live life in full bloom. On the left, this metal filigree butterfly and I have this large floral spray here. Now, the original file includes one large flower however I did shrink this down so that I could include two flowers. If you look closely you can see the lavender and white stamens. I also have another white rose here and more of these purple berries and then I finished it off with this purple sand binding and this beautiful pink rhinestone pearl. On the side, I have further embellished the box with this gorgeous scallop lace trim and more of the rhinestone. And this is all around the perimeter of the box. Let me show you the inside. As you can see, this box is fairly deep. This measures two inches and I have created a mini album that will go inside and I will share that in a separate video. Now that I have given you an overview of this project, I'm going to grab my materials so that we can make this together. I'll be right back. This is the egg-shaped box with 3D flour, which is available at MyScrapChick.com. I have imported the images into Cricut Design Space and cut them out on my Cricut Maker. On the left, we have the bottom of the box and you have an inner piece which is slightly smaller and the bottom piece which is the base of the box and you have two side panels. You can tell that this is the bottom of the box because the height is much larger than the top. I've also cut out the lid. We also have these two side panels and you can see that this is much thinner than the bottom. And Similar to the base, we have a smaller piece which will go on the inside and a larger piece which will be the top part of the lid. I've also cut out flowers. There are five 
petals here and I'll show you how to make the 3D flower. So we are going to work on the bottom of the box first. I'm going to grab these two pieces and I have folded down these tabs on both sides. And you'll notice that on each of the ends there is a piece that is cut out at a diagonal. We are going to glue these pieces together just like so. There is no score mark along here. That's because we want to keep the box nice and curved. So I'm going to put some glue on this tab here and I'm going to line up these pieces. Then I'm going to take the smaller piece and I'm going to glue these tabs around just like so. So I'm going to start by putting on glue on each of these tabs. I'm going to do about five or six of these tabs at a time. And I'm going to start at the top and just wrap these tabs around. Okay, giving it ample time to dry. And I'm going to add more glue to these tabs. And I'm just pushing in this bottom piece and then slowly attaching these tabs. And I'm just taking my index finger and making sure that each of these tabs are securely aligned to the bottom of the box. We've got our last few tabs here and then put glue on the outside here. And these two pieces should come together. I'm going to glue this tab right up to the little slant here. Okay, so this is a nice shaped egg. And then you want to turn your box around. If there are any tabs that have not fully glued down, just add some glue. I'm going to turn this over. And you're going to take this piece and we're going to glue it down just like so. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for the lid. So we have the lid and the base complete. We can just stick this on just like so and it makes a lovely box. Now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on the flowers. I've cut out two flowers. Now I did shrink these down because I wanted to include two here on the bottom and then I'll also be adding in filler detail. I decided to make mine crinkly and distressed and as you can see I've got these lavender stamens in the center. So I have my five leaves here. I'm just going to mist it with this little recollections mister. I want to get them as pliable as I can. And then I'm just going to crumple them up just like so. This is a really easy way to make a distressed flower. Once I have them crumpled, I'm going to dry off my area. And then while they're still crumpled, I'm going to heat them up just a little bit with my heating tool. And then I'm going to carefully unravel them one by one. If you find some areas that are not crinkled enough for you, just pinch them. Okay, so now that we have all the leaves, I'm going to order them from largest to smallest. Now I'm going to take my stylus and I'm just going to create a little ball in the center. And I'm not going to do anything with the petals because I want to keep them distressed. Now what I'm going to do is stick a hole in each of the petals and then I'm going to take about five stamens okay, I'm going to take a piece of wire and wrap it around so this will be our mechanism to pull through the flower and I'm just going to twist Now I'm going to start with the smallest flower and then just stick the wire through. Go 
going from the smallest to the largest and then I'm alternating the petals okay once I have all of the petals attached I'm going to gently wiggle the wire and the stamens down in between the hole and you want to do this gently because you don't want to tear the flowers see so it'll look just like so okay now you could go through and add a little bit of glue to hold this together but because the flower is so small I'm I'm not going to bother to do that okay so now I'm going to cut this wire and then I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom and I'm going to press this floral wire down now we have two pretty flowers with stamens Okay, and that's going to go on our box just like so see how pretty and distressed that looks now I'm going to further embellish this so I've grabbed my folk art glitterific this is hologram paint I love this stuff and I am almost finished with this bottle but I'm just going to put my brush in and I'm just going to randomly dab it on to the flower our box is complete as well as our flowers I've also done fussy cutting of several images from the paper collection and I'm going to layer them onto my egg I've also gathered some beautiful trim some rhinestones some berries so I'm going to put some music on and fast forward this so you could see the decorating process. So let's get started. concludes my review of my oval gift box hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas if you like this video please take a moment to give me a thumbs up leave a comment and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please be sure to join me tomorrow to see the other projects that I've created with this gorgeous Stamperia Hortensia paper collection thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon bye for now and happy crafting